Hey guys, welcome back to Dip Switch Demos. My name is Jackson and today we're going to check out the NRG Effects Pura. <laughs> So let's start off with a little bit of a story. I remember plugging in the Brown Amps Protein for the first time and really thinking that straight away that that was such a special overdrive. The attention to detail really came through in the clarity of the drive sounds. That really is a special overdrive pedal. And if I'm tr brutally honest, I don't think I've had that same experience playing a pedal for the first time since playing that almost a year ago until I played the NRG FX Pura. As soon as I plugged it in, I knew that this was a special drive pedal. The attention to detail, like I said, comes across in the clarity of the sound. There really is not a bad sound in this drive pedal. If you're looking for a more transparent, clear sounding overdrive that's not gonna color your tone too much other than give you more gain, then you can't go much wrong with the NRG. <laughs> A few simple controls really helps us get there. Um, we have the, he gives them different names. So, uh, for example, loud is volume, self-explanatory. Bite, which is the yellow knob, is uh, your treble control. Milk, which is the white knob, is uh, sort of a bass frequency control. And then the orange and red controls are the gain for the two different sides of the pedal. Yes, it is a dual overdrive pedal. We have two different levels of gain and volume that we can control. Uh, this blue switch here controls a different frequency range and gain response of the pedal. Up we have a more, is the standard sort of the way the pedal is designed to be. In the middle we have a softer sound and then down we have a more bright attacking sound. This little purple knob here is the volume as well for the second channel so you can really boost it, set it up as like a solo boost tone, slightly more gain and more volume if you wanted to do it that way. <laughs> I really love um, two band EQ drive pedals. I find them really intuitive and easy to use. Even though they don't have a mids control, you can really help push those mids through if you want to by maybe having the treble and bass controls lower and cranking the volume. That will make the mid range seem more prominent. Like I said, I can't get a bad sound out of it. Uh, I've played I played it mainly with my Telecaster into the Victory V40 and it was just awesome. Really, you can hear the sound of a telly coming through the pedal just sounds great. This also works really well stacking more drives and fuzzes into it, which is one of my favorite things to do with drive pedals. Clear, transparent drive pedals like this as well. Takes fuzzes into it like a champ. 
sounds great to get some more beefy tones. One thing that you will know about NRG effects if you follow them, him on Instagram, for example, is the way his pedals look from the inside. Right angles, colors, super, super neat wiring and construction inside of these pedals. I'll put up a picture to show you inside. Um, yeah, and like I said, that attention to detail and that quality of build really comes across in the pedal. Enough yammering on though, let's get some tones. Like I said, I'm gonna use my Telecaster into the Victory V40, set up pretty clean um, with no reverb. The reverb you're hearing is coming from the Boss Buzzer Tube Amp Expander, which is also emulating a 212 cab, mic'd up with a ribbon and an SM57. Going to my audio interface, the Universal Apollo, Universal Audio Apollo Solo, and then into Logic. <laughs> Thanks guys for checking out the video. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and check out some more videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.